Got an update here to the Sawyer Road grade crossing on the UP Geneva sub on the east side of Morrison, Illinois. Uh, as you can see, the new bungalow is in on the northeast quadrant behind the current one. So signal replacement here will happen pretty soon. Uh, to recap the old signals, these are older WCH signals that were installed by UP uh, either in the late 90s or early 2000s. Very early 2000s. Uh, and there's two GS bells here. The uh, northern one's a GS Type 1, and this one here is a GS Type 2. I'm thinking they probably added the GS Type 2 later on, and the GS Type 1 is the original bell to this crossing. Uh, this one actually has given me the most questions out of any of the UP installs, uh, new installs for this line. So here's the two new bung here's the two bungalows here. Here's the older one, and here's the newer one. You can see they're both PT&W bungalows. Now, originally what I thought they were going to do here is uh, move those wayside signals down there up to the crossing. Because that's what they've been doing at some other locations. Uh, 10th Street and DeKalb did that. But when you look at the new bungalow, it's a smaller one. Um, usually the one that they use for just crossing replacements. So it seems like they're just replacing the crossing signals here and not the uh, the wayside signals. They're leaving those alone for now. So that raises a few questions to me. Um, if they're gonna, re this is the first PTNW bungalow that they're replacing outright, uh, not tied into any wayside signals. So with that, it seems like UP is gonna in fact replace a lot of the PTNW bungalows on this line at some point. Uh, they're just doing this one for now because it's in the middle of a bunch of older ones. So this could mean that the signals in Rochelle and DeKalb are not safe. And they just skip those for now because it's a big cluster of newer stuff that they want to skip for now and get to the older stuff. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on those this year now because now it seems like those are no longer safe if they're willing to replace this one outright without any other upgrades to the crossing so again we'll have to keep an eye on on those at some point and see when they get the new signals in here and then we'll know for sure if they're going to do anything with those wayside signals but for right now it looks like they're not doing anything with those it's just, it's just so weird seeing two pt and w bungalows next to each other like that that are both for this crossing crazy stuff up's been doing and we sad to see that GS Type 1 go on this signal. But, anyways, that's that story. Again, we'll have to keep an eye on the crossings to the east. Ooh, and that signal just turned on, so we've got a westbound coming here pretty soon. We'll have to keep an eye on crossings east of here. And we'll see if they replace any others with PTW bungalows this year or not. If they're willing to replace this one, I'm sure they're willing to replace all of them at some point. Anyways, rest in peace to these signals.